Hey guys, let us get more news about Dallas, but before that, don't forget to subscribe to the channel and leave a like. Seahawks a top landing spot for new $160 million star QB, says analyst. The Seattle Seahawks are being labeled as a potential landing spot for Dak Prescott amid his current contract standoff with the Dallas Cowboys. CBS Sports' Cody Benjamin lists the Seahawks just behind the New Orleans Saints and Los Angeles Rams as franchises that make the most sense for Prescott. Seattle clearly went for new backup Sam Howell because of his long-term upside, knowing incumbent number one Geno Smith may or may not stick around for the long haul, Benjamin wrote in a March 26, 2024 story titled, Dak Prescott could play out contract year, what it means, plus five early 2025 landing spots for Cowboys QB. GM John Schneider also isn't necessarily primed to land a top prospect in the draft, picking number 16 overall. But with neither Smith nor Howell a sure thing beyond 2024, odds are Seattle will be exploring the quarterback market again next offseason. If new coach Mike McDonald has the defense back on track, a team-up with Prescott could be appealing to both sides, especially if weapons like DK Metcalf are still at top speed. Prescott is heading into the final season of a four-year, $160 million contract. NFL Network's Ian Rappaport reported that the Cowboys are prepared to let Prescott play on the final season of his current deal without an extension. This would potentially make Prescott a free agent in 2025, when he could sign with the Seahawks or another team of his choosing. Prescott has no trade and no franchise tag clauses in his contract. The Cowboys and QB Dak Prescott have a mutual understanding of his contract situation, sources say, with no offers from Dallas despite him being in a contract year, NFL Network's Ian Rappaport noted in a series of March 26 messages on ex-owner Jerry Jones said, We are where we are, locked and loaded for this year. No indication a deal is coming. This appears to clears the path for Dak Prescott to test free agency in 2025. There is still plenty of time for the Cowboys to get a new deal done with Prescott before he would hit free agency next offseason. Let's play out this scenario a bit for Seattle and assume Prescott does hit free agency. The question the Seahawks would need to answer is not only whether Prescott is an upgrade over Geno Smith. It is also whether this improvement is worth the spike in the price Seattle would be paying for Prescott compared to Smith's current contract. Prescott earned a 90.8 grade from Pro Football Focus in 2023. Comparatively, Smith received an 82.9 grade from PFF for his play last season. Track projects Prescott's market value to be a four-year, $203 million deal. This would give Prescott an average annual salary of $50.8 million, but some projections have this number closer to $60 million per year. Smith is on a much more team-friendly three-year, $75 million contract that runs through the 2025 season. Prescott threw for 4,516 yards and 36 touchdowns in 2023, the second-highest numbers of his career. The quarterback also added 242 rushing yards and two TDs on the ground. Prescott has just a 2-5 record in the NFL playoffs over his career. Dallas Cowboys, projected to replace Tyron Smith with former All-Pro in latest 2024 NFL free agency predictions. How will the Dallas Cowboys fill the major void at left tackle heading into the 2024 season? Before we get into it, let's take a look at who the Dallas Cowboys have lost in free agency, just three weeks into the offseason, LT, Tyron Smith, Jets, as well as RB Tony Pollard, Titans, C. Tyler Biadas, Commanders, D. E. Dante Fowler, Commanders, D. E. Dorrance Armstrong, Commanders, C. B. Noah Igbinagin, Commanders, D. T. Jonathan Hankins, Seahawks, D. T. Neville Gallimore, Dolphins, and L. B. Leighton Vander Esch, Retirement. In ESPN's latest 2024 free agency projections, the Cowboys will be adding a bridge left tackle to help alleviate the loss of Tyron Smith, albeit one of the very best in the entire NFL in the form of former Green Bay Packers All-Pro, David Bakhtiari. When healthy, 
Bakhtiari is an above-average starter at a premium position. Unfortunately, that hasn't been often in the past couple of years. He's a one-year band-aid at best, but he's a dang good one when available. All was well in Jerry World as the Dallas Cowboys began their season with a 7-2 record, which included a five-game winning streak over the likes of the Philadelphia Eagles, Seattle Seahawks, Washington Commanders, Carolina Panthers, and New York Giants. Despite a few losses to the Eagles, 49ers, and a shocking one in Arizona against the lowly Kyler Murray Les Cardinals, the Cowboys ended the regular season with back to back wins over the Jets and Giants to win the NFC East. Unfortunately for the Dallas Cowboys, history repeated itself when Jerry Jones' club was throttled by Jordan Love and the Green Bay Packers in the NFC wild card in their own place, 48 32. After such an embarrassing loss to his old team, it was seemingly a foregone conclusion that Mike McCarthy would be the fall guy for the Cowboys' shortcoming, especially with names like Bill Belichick and Jim Harbaugh on the market. However, Jerry Jones has other plans as he will keep McCarthy manning the sidelines in 2024, which will certainly be met with mixed reactions by Cowboys fans and foes alike. Dallas Cowboys Insider Reports NFL Sources Believe Team May Not Give Micah Parsons Contract Extension The Dallas Cowboys are heading into one of their most important seasons in recent history. If they win and make a legitimate run at the Super Bowl, there's reason to believe Jerry Jones and company will keep the core of the team in place and Mike McCarthy as head coach. But if they fall short? Dak Prescott could very well join a new team following 2024, McCarthy will almost certainly be gone and the Cowboys, who have posted three straight 12-win seasons, will have to hit the reset button. Until the start of this month, the biggest questions were focused on how the Dallas Cowboys could keep their three core key players on the team while still having cap room to sign talent around them. Those three are Dak Prescott, C.D. Lamb and Micah Parsons. We now know the Dallas Cowboys plan to let Prescott play out the 2024 season without an extension, and while the Dallas Brass says they plan to give him one after the season, it's clearly a move to see if he can finally get them over the hump. If not, they may easily move in another direction. Lamb has solidified himself as one of the top receivers in the NFL, and it's likely he gets a contract extension sooner rather than later. And then there's Parsons. The Dallas Cowboys are reportedly picking up the fifth-year option on Micah Parsons' rookie contract and classifying him as a defensive end rather than a linebacker, per Michael Gelkin of the Dallas Morning News, a deal that will save the team a little under $3 million. Per that report, as a linebacker, Parsons would earn a little more than $24 million in 2025, the final season of his rookie contract. As a defensive end, his 2025 salary will be $21.32 million. Micah Parsons will be under contract for the 2024 season on a $2.9 million base salary and $2.4 million signing bonus before his fifth-year option kicks in for the 2025 campaign. Given that he's emerged as one of the NFL's most prominent game-changing talents, it's hard to imagine the Dallas Cowboys won't push for a contract extension before the fifth-year option kicks in. Parsons likely will seek a deal that makes him the highest-paid defender in league history. That distinction belongs to Nick Boza, who pinned a five-year, $170 million deal ahead of the 2023 season that leads all defensive players in terms of total money, average annual value, $50 million, and money guaranteed at signing, $88 million. Parsons has made it clear he wants to be a cowboy for life and with the team's latest move to pick up his fifth-year option, it's a safe assumption to think they will reach a record-breaking extension with the star pass rusher before having to pay out that money in 2025. But Dallas Cowboys insider Jory Epstein isn't convinced they will give Micah Parsons the extension everyone is expecting, Micah is an interesting one. I was talking to a defensive coach from another team about this, and I was just trying to understand. Because on one hand, we see his sack numbers and see what he can do, but it's like, think about the biggest games they had, the playoff game against San Francisco. And you, fan, 
What do you think about the situation of Micah Parsons? Leave your opinion in the comments.